Hi there. Well, I guess I want to talk about China again. Robert Wallace made a video in regard to the Chinese virus and how people are calling it racist. And it made me think about the comment sections on my last videos regarding that. And, you know, as I think it's best to call it the coronavirus or COVID-19, you know, there are people who would still get upset if Trump or anyone else called it the China virus or the Wuhan virus. Calling it those things would still be considered offensive. Oh, don't say anything bad about those places. And I think that's weird. It's There are people who think that we should never say anything bad about any country except the one that we live in. And I, I think that's kind of weird. Why shouldn't we be able to talk negatively about other countries? That's strange. You could say, oh, well, that's bigoted. You don't live there, so you don't really have the right. I'm like... You can see footage of things that happen somewhere. Does that mean, I mean, should we not speak out when we see gay people being thrown off of buildings or gay people are, get hung or women get stoned to death because they got raped? You know, when it comes to the Middle East, should, should we not say anything negative about, negative about that? That's weird. And so... I don't think we should refrain from saying anything negative about China. You can say, oh, well, if you say something bad about China, then people will start treating Chinese people poorly. And I'm just like, that's, I just, I guess I just don't fully buy into that. Again, I, I think it's best if we call it the coronavirus or the or COVID-19. I think it's best if we call that, that virus by their technical names, or their more technical names. But, I know, it makes me think about people who say that we can't, you know, don't say something negative about Islam, but they have no problem saying anything negative about Christianity. I regularly speak against Christianity. But it's kind of, there's the same kind of reasoning. Oh, if you say something negative about Islam, then people will start treating Muslims poorly. Again, I, I just don't buy into that. I, I, you know, I, I guess I just don't like the double standards very much. When it comes to China, I mean, China is probably the most racist country on the planet. And they're just extremely racist. And, and look at how, how China was treating Muslims. You know, I mean, they, put the, they essentially put them in concentration camps. Oh, no, that's not what it was. We believe everything that the government says. It's, it's, uh, it's we're, we're trying to, to get rid of the, uh, the extremists. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some truth to that, but when you have families there, you know, I, I, terrorist children, I don't know, re-education camps. But China is one of the most racist countries on the planet, and nobody really says much about it. Why? Because, well, it, it seems, the, the standard kind of seems that the only racism that we're supposed to point out is when white people are racist. And that's, that's kind of weird. You know, there are some people who, who push this notion that the only people that can truly be racist are white people. And that's, that's kind of weird. I don't buy into that. You know, other things about China. Um... 
the way that they treat animals. A lot of it being some of the animals that we view as our companions. There is some festival that I can't remember the name of that I've seen footage of just just horrible footage of them rounding up dogs and then just not killing them humanely. No, rounding up dogs and while they're still alive, put them in boiling oil or strapping them down and, and using a blowtorch on them. Just Just horrible stuff. You know, it's just it's stuff that makes factory farming look tame. You know, not that factory farming is a good thing. I think that, that should be, you know, in here in the United States, we should be calling that out too. But just absolutely inhumane treat, treatment. Just, just awful. But we're supposed to just kind of look the other way to that stuff. Or maybe some people don't even know about it. Um... If you haven't ever seen anything about it, just, you know, do some searches on it. Um, they have some weird ways that they, they cook meats there anyway. I don't understand, you know, let's just cook everything, everything intact and then you cut it apart when you're eating it. Don't, don't kill it and then cut it into the, the pieces that make it good and then cook it and you don't have to cut off the head or cut off all these other parts. I, and that's just weird to me. Um, you know, another thing is, you know, the United States has a terrible history, but so do, so do so does almost any country that's been around for a while has a terrible history. Let's look at the way women have been treated. Okay, in China, they used to bind women's feet. If you don't know what that is, it's the, from from the time someone's people are little girls, they used to their toes. They would curl them underneath, so and then break their feet. So they're these tiny little things, and when you look at the bottom of your their feet, you see the, the tops of their toes. And they do this to keep women from running away. And also because I guess it makes their feet look more dainty and it's more feminine or something, right? But just, just terrible. It's just terrible. And I guess it stopped. Uh, it it became illegal somewhere around 1912 or something, right? Awful stuff. But you rarely hear it talked about. You know. So yeah, why? Why can't we talk negatively about other countries? What's with that? I mean, you could say, well, maybe your information isn't correct. That's a valid argument. That's valid. But sometimes it's not valid. Sometimes there's video footage. Sometimes there's things that are well documented. Can we not talk about those things? Or is it going to be this argument that if you say anything negative about those countries, then anyone who looks like they come from those countries will be treated poorly. I don't know. I guess I just don't like double standards. So, anyway, I just felt it necessary to make this video. Thanks for watching.